What's going on everyone and welcome back to another A to Z Joust video and today finally ending on the A's we have another, none other than a Wheelix uh, now what do I want to build here oh yeah the most uh, OP uh, item in the game right now shifter shield let me make sure that my audio is correct. I was streaming last night. My audio wasn't on, so make sure it's on. It looks like it's on. All right. So if you don't know too much about a Wheelix, she is not very good in Joust. Who would have thought? She's more of a counterpick god that um really only you only really play if you know you're up against against a team that has a lot of leaps. <clears throat> But other than that, not not very good. I'd uh, say stay away from her unless you're going up against a specific. Uh, ooh, I hear him. Oops, not what I'm meant to do. Oh, you just killed yourself, butter. Sir beats. I don't really want to fuck with the Cthulhu. I'm faster than you. Ooh, almost got me to the tower, huh? They did steal our blue, so it kind of does suck. That should be dead. Nice. Well, with that being said, there are some things that are good with a Wheelix. If the enemy team doesn't know how to play against her. I'm gonna try to get this. We'll see if I can, though. Was able to get it. Nice. You can actually take that. I forgot I had seed buff. Uh, we'll go into our kit soon enough. This was a very interesting start to the game. A lot more fun than regular starts. That fuck is just over there just killing him. We're gonna go ahead and get this purple and then Should be good to go, but yeah, no Wheelix is really not that great of a god outside of like a couple niche picks All right, right, right. I get this wave Actually, I'm gonna have to stay for red too. Unfortunately. I have no mana though. Ooh. It's a good attempt. I'm just gonna go ahead and dip. I think our team might just be a goner. An ally has been slain. I'm gonna stay though. I'm gonna greed for 1800 gold though. As much as you really shouldn't, I'm going to. Ooh. Forgot what I was gonna say. Um, if you are gonna play this god, I know what I was gonna say. If you are gonna play this god, um, you really should uh not I mean, you can go full damage, but I don't really like that as I think a majority of assassins in Joust just objectively are better with a little bit of defense. Uh it allows you to tank some shots as well as still do a decent amount of damage. You go full damage, your job really is only to be like an assassin in Conquest if you know or play Conquest at all. And uh, it's just not the greatest unless... Because you, your your margin of error is just so low that you, you're going to eventually fuck up. Most likely. Um, and then I was going to say that um, one thing about a Wheelix I like is that she's fairly easy to... There we go, I was waiting for his dash. Fa Ow. She's fairly easy in terms of what her abilities do once you just learn the small things about her kit. Uh, so with that being said, let's talk about her passive. So every time she has taken or dealt damage in the last five seconds, she strikes an enemy. She increases her power. I believe by 30% for four seconds. Yes, 30% for four seconds, um, which is a very good. Uh, and that's basically it. I, do want, I'm gonna, I forgot to get rid of this from last night. 
There we go. If you aren't uh, watching the stream, following the stream, you should. We'll say I don't like this. Come visit me again. Retreat this line. No problem. I might be dead. Be careful. He's dead. I'm gonna go ahead and leave though. And you can kill this wave though. Uh, but yeah, that's basically where we passed. I'm gonna go ahead and get into this unit so I can get some cooldown. Uh, basically, if you have uh, not taken damage or dealt damage in the last five seconds and you strike an enemy first, you get 30% increased damage. I don't think they can get this tower. This does mean that we can get red, though. If you get a flop, you can definitely go in. Do you need some MP5? So I'm eventually gonna go into hammer. Ooh. Let's go ahead and just get bops here. I think that's just probably the safer play. Uh, and into her one called Summon Suku. If you've seen me using it, basically you just hop on your little, your little pet, your little lion or whatever, whatever skin you're using, Suku. Um, and it allows you to go a little bit faster. Your movement speed is increased by thirty percent. Um, your strafe is not, however. Ooh, I actually should have just ulted him. That's his ult down. That's my bad. Honestly, I didn't think he was gonna hit that. Miss. Once I get a couple of items online, should be good. But still under her one, she gives a little bit of movement uh, speed like this. Her strafe is a lot... Um... Okay, I don't know what that guy thought he was doing. Let me see if I can't grab this guy. I'm a little low. But as you see, I go jump into this, and uh, your strafing speed from the left, right, and back is a little slow. But your, your uh, movement speed is increased by 30%. Uh, on top of that, you don't even need to... Um, you can cancel this ability, and you still have this ability up. It does reset it for about, like, one second. So you can't use it right away. But it doesn't go on cooldown. Uh, and it's a good way to... Uh, majority of the time when you use this ability, you don't want to use your one... Uh, meaning you don't want to press it and then you know jump away into a certain direction unless you need to It's one of those abilities that you want to use for the movement speed and then you cancel so you can have it back up Rather than just you know jumping right now see you can jump right now But the best thing to do probably for the most part is to just hold on to this ability press cancel it So you don't uh, this doesn't go on cooldown and only use it when you need to On to her too is feather step. It's probably one of her best abilities um, her bread and butter. Uh, this one's probably the most uh, confusing outside of maybe her three. I do want to get this red. I don't even think I need to. Oh, maybe I do. Oh. Sheeshington, Batman. I need to go. I may be able to go back on this guy. Ooh. I could have. Uh huh. I think I could have used my two there, I believe. 
I don't have my blink up though, so. You can use your ability. So if I do this, I jump on this. You can use your two right after as well. There's a lot of combos you can do. Instead of actually having to hit them. Um, but her feather step. Oh! I don't know if that was the play, brother. Oh, but yeah, her feather step. You've been seeing that I've been using my two. Basically, whenever you hit an, uh, hit an enemy guy with either your autos or your uh, abilities, <clears throat> you do feather step over them, which roots them, I believe, and cripples them, meaning they're just stuck in place for like 1.6 seconds, I believe it is. Yes. Um, um, and that's basically it. There's a lot of things you can do with it. They're about to use their dash, for example. You can use it, and it actually cancels it. Uh, or it can cancel it, depending on the god you're going up against. Some abilities do cancel when they're interrupted. Some don't. Um, and then, obviously, uh, the other thing is, when you use this ability, I'll have to show you it more than just tell you. Uh, a lot of the times, you want to use... You don't... If you're going to use your autos, which you usually will for using your two, you want to make sure you hit it twice and then use your two so it brings out the giant circle. Um... In, in the area. See, if you, you only use it once, you'll only hit that single target. But if you hit it twice, you'll see the circle around you uh, expands and it'll hit them t uh, the entire area. Which, generally speaking, is better unless you want to get like a burst. Like if they're really low and you just want to burst them like I did earlier. Um, other than that, you want to make sure you use that. But that's basically it in terms of her two. I should have ulted again. Onto her three, Moonlight Charge. Not really a, a hard ability to understand. Maybe we're gonna do something here. I'm just waiting for the Bacchus to leap. I some, uh, I've been actually kind of fucking up. Every time he's been hitting someone, I haven't been ulting, which you should be doing if you understand her kit. Good blink here. Okay. Gonna do this. This is ult though. It's not always the best thing to do to try and get the tank, but slow it a little bit. Oh, nice good kills by the team. Take it. They can go ahead and get time. I'm just gonna get buffs. I'll be right back. On to her three, though. Moonlight Charge, like I said. Basically just throws out Suku, the little lion. I'm actually going to go Relic Dagger here, I think. You see, it throws out Suku right there. Just a line ability. Just does damage, but outside of that, one of the biggest things about this ability that I, you know, when I first started playing um, was hard to understand. If you hit them from the side or you hit them from behind, it knocks them up. I didn't show it there, but... If you hit them from the side or behind with this ability, it knocks them up, which synergizes with your ult. Um, and that's basically it. Just damage and you're trying to hit them from the side if you do want to knock them up. See if I can do it like this. No, still not. I don't know why it's not being knocked up, but whatever. I think he probably saw me. Maybe not. Uh, but that's basically it. And on to her ult, which is one of her best parts of her kit. You've seen me use it a couple times. Called Gravity Surge. Basically, it just grabs them whenever someone is knocked up in the air, and it brings them to you. There's a lot of different things that go along with this ability. But basically, it does a fuck ton of damage. It brings them down, and it uh, stuns them for 0.8 seconds. Increases your physical power, attack speed, and makes you immune to roots, slows, and knockbacks. So there's a lot there. But basically, what you want to really know is that it's a giant stim. If they get knocked up... Ooh. That was, um... Kind of scary a little bit. Retreat! Um... 
I'm gonna have to try and defend this wave, I think. Or just give it up. I'll defend Phoenix. I don't think they just get that. No way, bro. I actually missed my three, which doesn't get me the kill. I do have my blink back up, though. I think we do get this tower. Maybe. Level 20, but yeah, I think might be able to get this. Baron's here. Nah. Probably just better to go bull demon. That's basically her kit. One of the biggest things about her ult that is not really... If you knock somebody up, it's not very intuitive. If you knock somebody up and there's two people, whichever one you're looking at, whichever one is the closest, I believe it's whichever one is the closest um, to you, you will grab. So that is one thing to also pay attention to. I'm going to go ahead and get Warrior's Axe. But basically, you get knocked up, you press your ult, brings them to you. Um, another thing about it... Um, because it gives you a bunch of attack speed and physical power, it gives you 60 physical power and 70% attack speed. You don't always need to use this ability just to grab them if they're in the air. You can use this as just a giant stim, and it kind of makes you, like, unkillable in a, a 1v1 situation. Ooh. Okay, well, they know we're here now. Do have my blink. Kill. Beat out of that so I don't die. Should give us Phoenix. Should make us win too, I think. Yeah, she is a little bit hard to play. Uh, in Joust, not as a character. Her, her kit is pretty basic once you just learn the small things. One thing, so the, the things I say uh, to learn about her kit that's that'll make things easier uh, is her two mechanic to where, like, you know, when you hit an ability. Um, you're gonna suck at me. Let me get this. When you hit an ability or an auto attack, you can use your two. Um, when you use your autos, you hit them twice. I believe they say three times, but it's really just twice. That hits them all in the target area. Um, and then um, that's basically it. So you open up, open up, it opens up the target area, making them do more damage around you instead of just a single target. Uh, her three, meaning from uh, or the mechanic about her three where you hit them from behind or the side in order to knock them up is the other thing. And then that's kind of basically it. Everything else is pretty, pretty, pretty easy to understand. I think I might just go in on this. He just dashed. Can't see shit. Oh, we killed that guy. Damn. Honestly, my bad. No problem.
Just gonna go ahead and defend here. Okay, just hitting the wall. I think this is one of uh, Bull Demon play that they're probably gonna do here. Yeah, Xbox trying to solo it. You can always potentially kill this guy. I will say, I don't know if he should have went in back in on that. Try to kill that guy. I could have ulted right there and I would have gotten that kill. Uh, that's what I mean when you can use your abilities, your ult without having to tree. I'm gonna have to get off this and try and help this guy. Do I have? I have a decent amount. Probably just do that. This one's gonna be a little bit harder. X Ball's build is grotesque. If I die, I think we just may lose. Yeah, they're doing it. Nice. Oh, he didn't go after me. Luckily, they were distracted by the The fuck? Shit going on in my fucking house. All right, we should just be able to go. Play this right, we should be able to win. He doesn't have any way of clear. Alright, retreat. I'm going to defend our Phoenix for a little bit. I believe it's about to be done, so I don't think we should worry too much. They're probably just going to get buffs anyways. Yeah, it's done. Mm. Going in, are we? I'll oh, just defend. I have my blink here just in case. I do need to stop ulting this Cthulhu, it's actually not doing me any good. Can't burst him down with our team. 
What the fuck? That's why you get defense. If I didn't have defense there, I think I'd just die. I forgot to talk about this earlier, but you can immune with your two a lot very easily. Ooh. So if they use an ability or if you do something, you can use your two to immune them. Allowing you not to take any damage. Hmm. Kinda wish we would just go in on this. Can't get it though. Damn. Yeah, I think he might just be a goner. Just defend. This is a hard one. They're gonna go do Bull Demon most likely. And they can do it pretty easily. I'll be taking those. You're a powerful bender. Can get my three K pot here. I got the kill though. Where's our Baron? Oh, our Baron died. So we don't win that. I'm surprised the Baron died. Kind of hard to carry with a Wheelix, I gotta be honest. I'm gonna grab this though. I get my 3k pot here as well as that as well. Um... Plan of action here. I got X Ball Aegis. But that is all I have. I don't think I got anything from Raw. Might be on cooldown again, honestly. That's beads. What this beads down though? Stop his dash. Get in there. Nice. I'll take it. Should be game.
I'll take it. Should be game. Nice job. Sheesh. All right. Yeah. So, um, don't play a wheelix unless you got like a really good counter. She's like really hard to carry with. And like even then, I had to play a perfect there for the most part. There was obviously some things I could have done better, but all right. Well, as I was saying, yeah, it's um, she's kind of hard to carry with for the most part. I'm glad I did get uh, Eldritch Dagger here. That one's just specifically for the blink. One of the biggest things about assassins is that you want to get in really close, specifically with like an Oelix. Uh, that's when you get your damage done, and obviously it's easy to see when the Oelix jumps in, uh, or it looks like it's about to or she's about to jump in. Uh, there's enough jungle in this new map or the the map that I can um, blink from the sides and do shit like that. Pretty good game. Well, but yeah, that's what I was saying. She's kind of hard to carry with. If I messed up like a bunch of those pivotal plays, like stealing bull demon, blinking, thring, getting the raw's beads, um, instead of getting all those blinks in and shit like that, it was gonna be a lot harder of a game than what it uh, might have lost. Actually, there's a couple times where we could have lost there. Uh, here's the damage at 33k, but that's what I'm saying with the amount of defense I had and allowed me to tank a raw, for example, and he went full damage. If I uh, didn't have that uh, defense there, I would have just died. As you can see, I have 185 and 162 with Shifter Shield, Eldritch, and that's not even counting Eldritch Dagger when you do blink in because you do get 15% protections. Um, and then Mantle, and you really only need the damage from Sundering, Shifters, Jotuns, and Rune Breaking, and that's basically all you need. I had 185, I had 3k pot, of course, but I mean, towards the end, but. Uh, yeah, that's a Wheelix. One thing I did want to point out that I didn't point out in the beginning, I should have, I forgot about it. And, I, and like halfway through the video, I'm like, oh, I should have said that. Her two, you can immune damage. I think I said it before, but you can immune your damage or any type of damage in using your two. Um, there was one thing you can do as well. Like I said earlier, you can use your two to interrupt somebody's uh, dash. So like X-Ball's dash, I was able to um, use my two to interrupt his dash, which means his dash is on cooldown and he just stays in one spot because you are crippling them which means they're not able to use their dash anymore uh and then as well as rooting them in 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 spots so there's a lot of things you can do with the wheelix very simple kit but you gotta you know learn the ins and outs of it because a lot of her kit isn't really intuitive um until you learn more about it and play more about it i uh, hope that helps a wheelix done with the a's finally here's the damage uh you can't see the other guy's build so i'll just do this real quick I know you can. I'm doomed. I'm dumb. I'm doomed. Um, all right. So next up, I believe we're on to the bees, which means my girl Baba Yaga is going to be up next. Finally getting through the A's. I don't imagine I'll be able to get through every single god until Smite 2, but we'll try. We will try. Uh, that is basically everything that I have for you. If you did like this video, like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any suggestions or may think I've missed anything, Please let me know in the comment section down below, Discord in the description if you'd like to join. Get in contact with me very easily. Uh, that is one of the best ways to do that. Um, tournament reminder is this July 26th at 6 p.m. EST, 5 p.m. CST. Come out and support, watch. It's going to be really fun. A lot of high-end uh, gamers for $300, so that's on the line if you'd like to join. Uh, memberships are always open, remember. Um, it is $3 a month. If you would like, that's one of the best ways to support me. If you like my content, if not, that's okay. As long as uh, or you watching my video is just uh, good enough for me. Uh, but again, that is everything that I have for you. So with that being said, thank you guys for watching.